I think we're gonna upset some people with this video, especially if you're a pizza purist, because in this video, I wanna show you how I make these mini thin crust pizzas with a tortilla wrap, no dough. I'll show you how to make a really simple tomato sauce that's way better than anything you can get in a jar, and we're gonna do three of these mini pizzas because they come together so fast. We're gonna do a really nice deluxe pizza with all the toppings, a really simple margarita pizza, and also one of my favorites, this is a version of a Hawaiian pizza. I know some people think pineapple shouldn't go on pizza. I'm not one of them. This pizza is delicious. Uh, but before I get into the video, check the description box below. All the ingredients are down there, but enough talking. Let's get cooking. The key to making a great pizza, whether a traditional one or this five minute hack is making sure that all your ingredients are prepped and ready to go. So one of the things we're gonna do is thinly slice some of these red onions. And with each of these ingredients, as we're prepping them, we're gonna put them inside of a container. Second ingredient that we're gonna prep here is gonna be some bell pepper, a little chef snack. And when we're prepping this bell pepper, we're gonna cut these really, really fine because they're gonna go on the pizza raw, so you want them to cook a little bit. If they're too big, they're not gonna cook. Some ingredients for a pizza are better canned than fresh. So we're gonna take some of these canned mushrooms, which I think are absolutely unbelievable on top of pizza. And we're just gonna pull them out of the liquid in the can. So for our pineapple and ham pizza, we're gonna use soppressata and salami. So I got some thin sliced soppressata and salami that I'm gonna roll up just like I do basil leaves and I'm gonna cut these into little strips. We're gonna use these cured meats instead of the ham for the Hawaiian pizza. I think this really adds a nice touch and really makes the Hawaiian pizza what it should be. Absolutely delicious. So now let's prep some ingredients for our quick sauce. So we're gonna crush up some of these garlic cloves. Crushing really helps bring out the flavor in the garlic because they're gonna cook this sauce very, very quickly. So we wanna make sure that this garlic puts maximum flavor into the sauce. Not only are we gonna crush it, we're gonna put a metric ton of garlic in there. So let me know in the comments section if you think I did not use enough garlic for this sauce. We're also going to finely dice an onion. I think onions are the critical component inside a good tomato sauce. Uh, they are gonna add the sweetness. A lot of people ask me if I add sugar to my sauce and I don't, I just make sure that I put an onion in there and really get it nice and soft and sweat it out and that'll add the appropriate amount of sweetness for that sauce. Back to some other ingredients for these pizzas. For our margarita pizza, we're gonna take this fresh mozzarella and we're gonna cut that into these big chunks. Margarita pizzas are so much better when they're made with the big chunky cheese instead of the shredded cheese. But talking about shredded cheese, for our other two pizzas, we are gonna use shredded cheese. So I have a part skim mozzarella here that I'm going to shred. I try to never use this, the pre-shredded stuff. It just doesn't get stringy and cheesy enough and I would only use it in an absolute pinch. But here's my hack that I show every time I shred the cheese. So we take that paper towel, it goes right inside the container, and it just makes the transfer so much easier. Now in this saute pan, we're gonna heat this over a medium heat. We're gonna add some olive oil and we're gonna throw in our onions. And we're gonna let these cook down until they're nice and translucent. And then we're gonna add all that garlic in there and we're gonna cook that until that becomes fragrant a couple of tablespoons of some tomato paste, and then we're gonna work the tomato paste into the softened onions and the garlic until you got something that looks like this. It's a beautiful color and it smells fantastic. Now we're gonna throw in one can of crushed tomatoes and one can of petite diced tomatoes. I like chunky tomatoes in my sauce. If you don't, you can just go crush tomatoes. So we're gonna mix this all together and let that all warm up and cook. And we're gonna season that with some Italian seasoning a little pinch of salt or two, some fresh dried oregano out of my mom's garden out of the Talenti container, this thing's in every single episode, and some fresh ground black pepper. Fresh is always better, but you can use the pre-ground stuff if you'd like. So now we're gonna mix that to let all of this flavor the sauce, and then we're gonna put in a big handful of some chopped basil. I think I put a little too much basil in here, so we're gonna cut that basil with a, another can of some crushed tomatoes and get the appropriate amount of basil. 
we're going to cover this up and let this simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes, but not long at all. And once that's done, we're going to pull it off the heat and we're going to start assembling our tortilla pizzas in our cast iron pan. So I'm going to get this pan pretty hot over a medium high heat because I want to get the bottom nice and crispy. That's the whole point of doing it in the pan. I'm going to try to spoon on the sauce very evenly, leaving a little rim on the outside for some type of crust effect. Now we're going to make our margarita pizza first where we're just going to throw on that chunky mozzarella and we're going to throw on some basil leaves. And when you're assembling pizza, you want to think that you're trying to get a little bit of each ingredient in each bite. So you got a little time to work here, but you do want to work fast so you don't burn the bottom of the pizza. But try to spread out everything evenly so when you eat the pizza, it eats nice and evenly. So this is going to go inside my toaster style air fryer. It's, it's cranked all the way up to 450. And it's just going to go in for anywhere between like three to five minutes. A rare shot of the outside of the studio there. And now we're just going to keep assembling these pizzas. So spray on the bottom, tortilla on, then goes the sauce, spreading it nice and evenly. Now we're going to make our deluxe pizza, so we're going to start off with a sprinkle of some Pecorino Romano cheese. Then we're going to come in with some of that shredded mozzarella. This is part skim, so it's not going to give off too much water. And now we're going to start layering in each of our ingredients. So here I've got some pre-sliced olives that my daughter eats. We give her these when she goes to school. Next up is the green bell pepper that we prepped before. Now we're gonna put on some of those thinly sliced red onions. And as I'm layering these in, I'm always trying to make sure that I'm going for maximum coverage. Now some of these sliced mushrooms. And now you can start to fill in all the gaps that you're seeing. And last but not least, these little pepperonis. And now quick spray over the top. And now this is going right inside the air fryer. About five minutes and boom, this pizza is done and looks absolutely amazing. And now look how easy the cast iron just cleans out in between these pizzas. I just take a paper towel and I just take out anything that uh, was left in from the previous pizza. So we're going to start this one the same. We're going to go with a little sauce or a lot of sauce. It's probably too much, but... Nothing I could do about that now. Sprinkle of that cheese. Sprinkle of the shredded mozzarella cheese. And now let's put our meat on. So this is our salami and sliced sopressata. And now I got some pineapple tidbits. Also one of my daughter's school snacks. Give this a little spray with the olive oil. And in it goes the air fryer. Five minutes later, beautiful perfection. And I want to notice, look at that crisp on the bottom, that no flop on that pizza. And how in just 15 minutes, we got three of these personal pan pizzas and we're going to have a little pizza party. Margarita, Hawaiian special, and the deluxe. These pizzas look absolutely unbelievable. I can't wait to try them, even though I know what they taste like because we eat these so regularly. Uh, let's cut into all of them. So first, let's start with our deluxe pizza. And, you know, one thing that I want to show everybody is like, look at the, look how nice that undercarriage looks on that pizza. Really super nice. Mmm. This tastes just like a Mama Celeste, like the deluxe pizza. This is so delicious and so good. Mm. I mean, it's hard to believe that this is just a tortilla wrap and it's not made of like actual dough. This is so good. Mm. Next up, let's see our traditional margarita pizza. I mean, this one came out really well. I mean, even though it's been sitting a while, it's got a decent amount of crisp to it. You can make this with jarred tomato sauce, but making the own sauce, so nice. Mm. 
Last but not least, this pineapple and ham pizza. And again, I didn't do ham. I went soprasada and salami, which is kind of like a play on ham. It's a little bit more flavorful. And now this delicious pizza. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's super hot and burned my mouth. I don't care. People say that you're not supposed to put pineapple on top of pizza. Pineapple on top of pizza works awesome, especially when it's paired with uh, salami and soprasada. Mm. Oh, I burned my mouth. Well, I'm gonna devour the rest of these pizzas. Um, while I'm doing that, uh, check out some of my other Italian recipes. This is my mom's spaghetti sauce recipe, which is kind of similar sauce to what we made today, but we threw it on some nice spaghetti. And uh, here is my spaghetti squash bolognese, which is another really nice tomato sauce based recipe. I'll see you there. Thanks.